Rapper Rick Ross clearly has a taste for the finer things in life, so it should come as no surprise that he just dropped $35 million on a mega mansion located on the exclusive Star Island in Miami. His waterfront estate spans a massive 40,000 square feet of space and it's located in the middle of the celeb-filled enclave with neighbors like Diddy to Gloria Estefan, well-known billionaires, and more. Among all of the mansion's glorious amenities, Ross can kick back in his royal master suite that has dual walk-in closets, a wet bar, two marble baths, and more. When the rapper gets sick of his new place in Florida, he can hop on his private jet back to his Atlanta mansion, the jet which he's been flaunting on Instagram this summer. He's recently shared a series of photos and videos from his 18-passenger plane that boasts his name in gold emblazoned on the side. Naming it Maybach Airlines, Rick Ross also uses the private jet hangar to park all of his insane car collection. In July, it was reported that Rick Ross had his eye on Waterfront Estate, located in the exclusive Star Island in Miami, Florida. Now it's confirmed that the rapper has indeed officially closed on the mansion, purchasing the property for $35 million. Ross will join all of the other celebrities and high rollers who have properties here, including the likes of Diddy, J-Lo to Gloria and Emilio Estefan, as well as famous billionaires. With only 30 homes in Star Island, it's a big deal to score a place here, and only the wealthiest can afford it. Rick Ross's new mansion spans nearly 13,000 square feet of space inside the main home, while the estate itself is reported to be 40,000 square feet. One of the realtors working on the sale said about the rapper's reaction to the home, he instantly fell in love with the grand entry. It has a very long driveway stretching towards the mansion. It creates an air of real luxury. The architecture also played a part as it's far beyond the ordinary modern home, and he plans to enhance it to reflect his personal style. Inside his new home, there are six bedrooms, including his massive primary suite as well as nine bathrooms. Walking in this waterfront mansion, it still makes sure to soak up its impressive surroundings with all of the large windows throughout, showing off those views. The two-story estate has a glass-enclosed foyer that sets the tone for what's to come. The double-height main living room has 30-foot ceilings, as well as a wall full of windows and a custom mahogany fireplace. Other common rooms include a media room, and elsewhere, Ross can entertain in the games room if he chooses, which boasts a sunken wet bar and billiards table. There's a library here with classic wood paneling and built-in bookshelves too, but something tells me Ross would use this space as a private office. Nearby, the large chef's kitchen is set up with granite counters, a top-of-the-line appliances, a butler's pantry, and even a separate breakfast room. Not to mention, Ross's master suite here is fit for a king, boasting wraparound windows facing the bay alongside features like double bathrooms and dual walk-in closets too. The record exec is known for throwing his share of star-studded parties to so the spacious swimming pool, outdoor kitchen, and sprawling stone terrace should come in handy. Ross described this Big Star Island property purchase as a quote-unquote major piece to the puzzle in terms of building up his real estate portfolio. Back in April, he revealed that he bought a home in Texas, sharing a photo on Instagram of himself wearing a cowboy hat and boots. He said on the post, I invite the great state of Texas to take a shot of Deacon whiskey to celebrate my newest home in the Lone Star State, Rodeo Rick. The same month, the singer reportedly scooped up an Atlanta area estate as well. His latest Star Island home also boasts 100 feet of generous waterfront on Biscayne Bay. The property currently has a two-car garage on the premises too, but I don't think it would have enough room for all of his prized cars. When he travels by boat, he also has a 40-foot dock equipped with an electric and water pedestal. But speaking of his prized cars, I know where he keeps plenty of them, and it's not at home. Rick Ross is also one of the latest celebs to purchase a private jet, taking to social media recently to show off his Gulfstream 550 as well as the private jet hangar where he parks a ton of his exotic cars. The aircraft is registered as N676AS and powered by two Rolls-Royce engines. Built in 2012, Ross reportedly purchased the jet in April 2023. Since then, the aircraft has undergone a makeover by Duncan Aviation, and now it's worth a custom all-black look with Ross's name, stylized as Rick Ross emblazoned in gold letters on the side. The tail features the logo of the Maybach Music Group, the record label established by Ross in 2009. It's not known how much he paid for the G550, but similar jets typically cost in the region of 15 to 20 million dollars, depending on their age. Ross shot to fame in the early 2000s after signing a multi-million dollar record deal with fellow rapper Jay-Z and went on to found the record label Maybach Music Group. Today, he resides at his main
main mansion in Fayetteville, Georgia, where he also plans to run for mayor next year. Ross is no stranger to luxury vehicles either, hosting an annual gathering for fellow car enthusiasts at one of his Florida mansions. Over on Instagram, Ross recently shared a series of photos and videos of the 18-passenger plane. Ross thanked Duncan Aviation for the plane. Five billion dollar play, Ross said in a video taken next to the plane, who want to go around the world with Ricky Rosé? I'm letting you know right now. Inside the plane, Ross showed off the luxurious decor and automated features, including a self-folding table and automated shades. Furthermore, Ross parks a ton of his mega car collection at his private jet hangar, and we have seen him showing off the fresh collection of wheels on social media. The hangar clearly has plenty of space for a handful of the rapper's stunning cars. How many of the cars parked there can you name? He just might have the craziest car collection of any rapper out there, owning more than 100 with every dream car you could imagine, from a Tesla to a Hummer, multiple Rolls Royce, Maybox, Ferrari, Lamborghinis, as well as classic American muscle cars. When he's not parking them at his private jet hangar, he also hosts a massive annual car show at his 235 acre Georgia property. While Rick Ross has no shortage of homes, his main residence is located in Fayetteville, Georgia, only about 15 miles from downtown Atlanta. This home formerly belonged to heavyweight boxing champ Evander Holyfield, who originally had it built in 1994, and it boasts European influence and contemporary mixed with timeless architecture. Ross purchased this mansion in 2014 for $5.8 million after it had fallen into foreclosure, so it was basically quite the steal. Not only does the land span over 200 acres, there's a 54,000 square foot mansion anchoring the property with 109 rooms throughout. Rick's luxury home is full of upscale amenities fit for a king, including a 135 seat movie theater and dining room with a 100 guest capacity, all surrounded by amazing outdoor features to match. The grounds of Ross's estate include a pond, a horse barn, and a 4,000 square foot guest house. Not to mention one of the property's pools, the outdoor one, which holds 350,000 gallons of water, makes it one of the biggest private pools in all of the USA. The other pool is located indoors, and other highlights here include a bowling alley, boxing gym, and a recording studio. Rick's mega mansion boasts 12 bedrooms and 21 bathrooms, and his top-of-the-line master suite had a walk-in closet and a dressing room, as well as a spa-style ensuite with jacuzzi tub surrounded by pillars. Other spaces in the home include a large ballroom, a great room with floor-to-ceiling windows and chandelier, and of course more common spaces from the kitchen to the family rooms. The front driveway has a center fountain with landscaping and embellished with an R for his initials. So that is the first thing you see upon arrival. Finally, the premises offers even more sports related amenities on the grounds like a softball field complete with lights and a scoreboard, a handball court and a basketball court. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up today's Rick Ross house and private jet tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Out of all of Rick Ross's many cars, which one would you choose if you could take one? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!